You might know Exaku as one of the best Warframes when it comes to chill-killing steel path enemies, or you might also know them as one of the most broken Warframe when it comes to Duviri Circuit. This Warframe is extremely powerful when it comes to dealing with high-level enemies, as they have the tool to strip enemy defenses, making them more vulnerable to void damage. And remember, void damage is the only damage type that is a true neutral, which means it has no negative effect against any faction in the game, and it's very powerful against the toughest faction in Warframe, which are the Sentients. Sako's first ability, called Aksata's Whisper, is one of the best subsumable abilities in the game also. This ability empowers all equipped weapons to inflict one extra hit per damage instance for 26% of total weapon damage as void damage, which resets Sentient and Shadow Stalker's damage resistance upon void status prop. It scales pretty well with duration, and it pairs well with the galvanized mods, making it a strong subsumable ability for the likes of Titania's Exalted Pistols, or even Mesa's Aimbot Regulator. Then they got the Grasp of Loch ability that steals enemy weapons making them their own. This is why Exaku is a chill killer, as after stealing the max amount of weapon, all you need to do is just roam around and let those void weapons floating around you do all the killing. Just some quick tips. Equip radar modes, such as enemy radar and animal instinct, to detect nearby enemies within range to disarm and steal their weapons, even through walls. And also, remember that the max number of stolen weapons is rounded down to the whole number multiple of the range modifier and the base number. So, for example, with 115% ability range, the number of stolen weapons is 6 times 115%, which is equals to 6.9, which is then rounded down to 6. The maximum number of stolen guns normally achievable by this method is 16, achieved with an ability range of 267, slightly below the normal max of 280. If the max range is increased beyond normal levels by some means, this number will increase accordingly. Long story short, put a lot of range in your Exaku build if you wish to get the most out of this ability. Then they got their third ability called The Lost. It has three features. A Qs will stun enemies for a second and then turn them into thralls that will fight for you. Discharging a torrent of void energy, Exaku unleashes a ray of piercing light toward the aiming reticle that travels up to 40 meters away. Deny will struck enemies with void damage, reset damage resistances if used against sentient faction, and become suspended in aerial stasis for a couple of seconds. And the best part of this ability is Gaze, wherein at 200% ability strength, you will strip the armor and shield of enemies that step inside its aura. Take note that you can only grasp two targets, so you should go with max range and grasp targets in different area to widen the effect of the ability. And lastly, Aksaku's fourth ability called the Vast Untime, which somehow makes them the best farmer and also makes all of their abilities energy efficient as once you cast this ability, the duration of their other abilities stops to count down. Also, this ability applies vulnerability to void damage, so it's perfectly paired with your grasp of lock, and viral will even make the damage even better. Now, like I have said earlier, you may be just using Exaku in steel path levels or Duviri missions, but there is more usage for this Warframe. First of all, farming resources in open world areas. This Warframe is very handy when it comes to farming thermal sludge in the Orb Valleys, or any other similar resources in open world areas, as their fourth ability can break crates, allowing you to easily get what you need in the less time possible. Secondly, Exaku can be a great bounty hunter, as he can both defend and kill enemies fast. With a combination of their grasp of lock for killing enemies, and the vast untime not just applying void damage vulnerability to enemies, but also slowing their action speed in the process, you can make Exaku a great defender warframe in the game. I also use this warframe for farming Endo to level up my Archon mods, get the new warframe arcanes, and sell them for platinum. Izaku is a great tool for farming Zadiman bounties in the Chrysalith, which you can access through Quinn. I know for a fact that still, Prime Parts farming is still the best route for getting platinum in the game, but there are other things you can do in Warframe that are both profitable and fun. So I sometimes use the broken Warframe when I'm tired of using Misa or Titania in the Zariman missions. The best part about this Warframe is it can do almost all Zariman missions in the game with ease. With Grasp of Lock, you can ensure that while just moving to the target location, you will be killing enemies in the process. 
Also, their fourth ability allows you to break crates, which then gives you a quick way to determine the location of the Zariman Accolade Keys, or the other Void Plumes in the mission easily. I know that you can also activate those Tenno Guides to show the way, but the vast untime just makes it more easier. The only thing that is lacking with Exact Q is the ability to deal damage to Void Angels just using their abilities. What I do here is just bring my trusty Laetum to deal with the Void Angels, even if the Zariman mission is a tier 5. Here's the usual Laetum build I'm using to deal with the Void Angels in the Zariman mission, and then here's the Exaku build I'm using for farming those resources in the open world areas, as well as farming the Zariman mission. The loot detector is very handy in finding all those crates and loot in the game using your mining map, but I also bring enemy radar mods so I know the exact locations of enemies and when to cast my grasp of lock. Aside from the loot and radar mode from my Warframe, I also added the primed animal instinct in my companion. By the way, the companion I'm using for this is the Sly Wolfefeltler because it pairs well with Zaku's dodge chance from their ultimate ability. The evasion mods from the companion also adds to the overall survivability of Exaku. If there's one thing I would like to do with this build, that is adding blue Archon Shards for energy. I need to do this so I can mine max my build for Exaku and put the Vampiric Grasp Augment for more survivability. Giving blue Archon Shards with energy allows me to take off Primed Flow and replace it with a Vampiric Grasp Augment. You can say that I can just trim some range and place the Augment mod in this slot, but I won't do that because it's better to have a high range for my Grasp of Lock ability. And lastly, let's talk about how I usually farm Platinum using Aksaku, or Warframes like Mesa and Titania, in the Zaliman mission. As you all know, Zaliman missions hold a good amount of Endo rewards at the end of each mission. There's a chance that you can gain 3,000 to even 4,000 Endo using Exaku in just a 4-minute run, not to mention that you can also get Void Plume Quills, which you can exchange from Archimedean Yonta for standings. Then you can use the standings you're accumulated by purchasing Molt Augmented from Cavalero and selling it to other players for Platinum. Molt Augmented is one of the most sought, after Arcane in the game and many players want to have the Arcane but don't want to do the grind. This is where we can exploit it and gain Platinum by exerting low effort and waiting until we get a full max rank Molt Augmented. But that's not all. You can use your excess Endo to max rank Primed mods that you have purchased from the Void Trader, or you can go and get Archon Vitality from the Kahal Garrison, and then max rank it using the Endo you gain from the Zariman mission. Then, you can sell this to other players in the Warframe market for extra Platinum profit. There's also the option wherein you can buy unranked primed mods from other players in the Warframe dot market, and then upgrade it using the Endo you gain from the Zariman bounty. After that, go sell them for a higher price in the Warframe market. Easy Platinum profit, and you don't need to wait for the scammer trader for a couple of weeks, or even farm for relics and crack them to get prime parts just to turn them into ducats. The only thing you would need is to farm some credits, since aside from Platinum, you would also need credits to trade goods from other players. So that's all about it. I hope that you have learned something again from this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and subscribe to our channel to help support our growth and inspire us to do more content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Squad Leader, signing off.